Okay, so you get your latest utility bill, you open it up, it's four times larger than usual. Mm -hmm. That's what some people in Pocomoke City are claiming. Right, the city though now has some high-tech tools to help out with this problem. WBOC's Denise Sawyer joins us now with more. Denise, Pocomoke City is installing these state-of-the-art digital water meters now. Steve, Paul, some say the new meters are arriving just in time, just months after dozens of people received bills with the wrong readings. Brenda Miller says a few months ago she got a surprise in the mail. She says her usual $50 water bill jumped to more than $200 in just one month. I almost fainted. Um, uh, I couldn't. I just thought, oh my gosh, somebody's using so much water in my house. Now Miller is getting one of these, a new digital water meter. I am very glad because I had to keep it right on where it's supposed to be. Nobody will have these high bills. Pocomoke City is installing 600 new water meters months after Kim Carter was also stuck with a shockingly high water bill. It was always around $50, give or take, you know, the $5 changeover. And then I, we get this bill for about $200. The mayor says a city employee wasn't taking accurate readings. Carter says she hopes that digital meters fix the problem. If it ensures, I mean, accuracy and no one else gets surprise letters like this, then yes, I'm all for it if, if it does not raise up taxes at all. City manager Russell Blake says neighbors would not have to pay a penny out of pocket. In fact, Blake says the meters may save you money. I think the new meters uh, will be more accurate than uh, before, and that's partly because of uh, the fact that we'll eliminate human error. But Brenda Ward is not buying it. Well, there's always room for a computer error. Always, because, you know, they're computers. Blake says crews will double check to make sure that doesn't happen. Blake says the total cost of the project is about $150,000.